Hello everyone. In this session, let us understand the concept of arrays. An array is the collection of similar data type. The collection of similar data. Say we want to create a collection of strings or collection of integers or double or characters, then we can create an array and add that collection to the array. So it is the collection of similar data types. Let us say we want to create a collection of days of a week, then we can create an array something like this, say days of week are like in the form of strings so we'll say string array of string and then we'll specify this open close square brackets which is the symbol of array this simply means we are creating the array that contains string elements and then we can specify it some name let us say days of week and equal to inside these curly brackets we can add the collection elements something like this so we have added monday tuesday wednesday until sunday so all these strings are making a collection which is called as array of strings so in this case we have seven elements and actually if i want to show you a diagramic representation of this array it will look something like this we have the seven sections or seven boxes or say seven containers or subsections whatever you call it as inside this array and each section has one index associated with that very interesting so each section or each element of the array has an index associated with it the first section has index 0 and then it gets increased by 1 for every next section of the array and we can see for the seventh element of the array which is the last one has index 6 so if your array has n number of elements then the index of the last element is n minus 1 so 100 elements in the array so the index will be from 0 to 99 that is very important uh, how do we find the length of the array simply by using the length method say I want to find the length of this array and print it in the console we will do something like days of week that is the name of the array dot length so it will calculate the length of the array so 7 means the array can hold at the max 7 elements. Okay, so this is the way we can declare an array and add the elements. There is another way we can declare an array where we do not want to add the elements right away. Declaring a blank array which we will see it in next session. For now, this is the one way of declaring it like create the array by using the data type, specify the name of the array and add the elements to it now how, how do we get the elements of the array we can get the element of an array by using the index of the specific element for example i want to get the element at index 2 so in this case it will be days of week that is the name of the array and all i need to do is provide the index in the square brackets so this simply means get the element of this particular array which is at second index which is in this case Wednesday. Monday has index 0, Tuesday has index 1, Wednesday has index 2. So it will simply retrieve the element at index 2 in the array. So when we run this program, you will see Wednesday getting printed as simple as that. Can we change the element of an array? Can we update some value? Yes. So let us say I want to update the value at index 2 to something else. Simply it can be done in the same way you will do days of week of 2 is equal to let us say I want to add a new value as something like this so what will happen the existing value Wednesday will get updated with this RRR and then if you try to see the value of second index again it will be the updated value as simple as that so new value is RRR can we add new elements to the array no once you fix the length of the array at the time of declaration you cannot change it when you fix the length you cannot change it so when you declare an array we have to specify the length so in this case when we are declaring it and initializing it with the initial elements it specifies or it fixes the length of the array over there in the other case also which we are going to see it in the next session where we declare an array without any elements 
with the blank things at that time also we have to specify the length so in the future whenever we add the elements we can add only in those length what if we try to add the value or try to retrieve the value from some index which is outside the boundary like in this case we have seven elements so we know the index is from 0 to 6 and I'm trying to retrieve the value at 10th index you know in this array we have the index from 0 to 6 and what if I say give me the value at index 10th then let us see what happens when you try to access the value at the index which is beyond the boundary then we get the error called as array index out of bounds exception which is similar to string index out of bound if we try to access a character which is out of the boundaries of the character then we get string index out of bound similarly in this case we get array index out of bounds exception so it will be both the cases if you try to retrieve or if you try to update a value with something else in both the cases you are going to get the exception so over here also array index out of bounds because index 10 does not exist in this case now what is the significance of length over here if you want to iterate over an array by using for loop this length can help you first let us see using the conventional for loop then there are multiple ways we can iterate over an array by using a list iterator or we can use a modified for loop over here today let us see how we can iterate over an array by using the conventional for loop for that simply let us start with for let us say int i is equal to 0 because index of array is always going to start with 0 then i less than or equal to now we want to go from 0th index to the last index and to find the last index I can simply say length of the array minus 1 and then i plus plus so this is going to give me the index of the last element of the array and then we can iterate over the loop something like this so in this case when you say give me all the elements of the array when we are iterating over it we can simply use days of week that's the name of the array and of i so over here when the value of i is 0 we will get the value at 0th index and then it will increase by 1 every time and then we will receive all the elements from 0th element to the last element of the array so when we run this program we are retrieving all these elements over here okay so this is how we can create a conventional for loop over an array to iterate now if you want to create arrays of some different data types we can do that say for example you want to create an array of integers say int then this is the symbol of array say arr1 that's the name of the array and then add your integers and so on so this becomes the array of integers now if you want to create an array of characters so first the data type then the symbol then give it some name say error 2 and then in the curly brackets you will add the characters okay something like this so very simple these are all the single dimensional arrays one thing to remember these are all the collection of similar data types like for example in the integer array you can add only integers you cannot add any double in between if you try to do that it will start to throw the error like in this case we cannot add a double value inside an integer array they all have to be integer only that is one of the constraints another constraint is when you declare an array at the time of declaration whatever size it gets created with that size is fixed you cannot change it afterwards okay, there are other data structures we can use uh, which are kind of like array list or linked list which we'll see it in future where you can modify the size but not in case of arrays we'll do some more programming with it uh, in the upcoming sessions thank you so much